Well guys, check out the size of that cob. That's probably the biggest cob I've ever grown. Uh, this is an organic variety called Country White, I think. Um, it's, unfortunately, as spectacular as that looks, it doesn't actually taste uh, as good as other cobs that I've had before, but still, uh, I, I can always marvel at the size of that. Anyway, um, so the reason I'm not growing uh, corn anymore in the polytunnel is because of this. Now it might be hard to see, I'll try and zoom in and get a look and um, see if this will focus probably not but right in there there is probably a, there you go right under that leaf you see all those spider mites and um, basically every year since I've had this polytunnel I've grown corn in here in different spots I don't like to grow corn here because corn likes the heat and it gets absolutely gigantic uh, that's a good 12 feet up there and you can get some uh, gigantic corn uh, cobs on this as a result like that one there and obviously the one i just showed you previously but unfortunately every year they just get hammered with spider mites no matter what i do um they just seem to gravitate towards the corn for some reason and uh, they just take over so these ones here in the middle are just really sad and they obviously got really hit really hard now i have sprayed i've um sprayed with uh, insecticide but i've also sprayed them uh, quite regularly with uh water uh, and hold them down just to try and mitigate the uh the infestations but you just can't get around it it's just one of those things that they just gravitate towards the corn um and i don't want them in here at all because once they work their way through the corn they start making the way onto the figs and anything else that's there and uh, even some of the figs that are planted around here now they seem to be holding up fairly well uh, but I have had to spray um, and I have had to wash down quite a lot and um, it does affect them and it certainly affects them a lot around the ripening time so um, corn can be grown outside in Ireland uh, fairly well uh, there are plenty of varieties that do that but if you want to get the heat loving ones you do have to get them uh, into the polytunnel um, in fact all corn is heat loving but uh, if you want those special varieties sometimes you might need to give them the uh, the protection of the polytunnel but unfortunately it's just not for me um, so going forward I will only be growing corn outdoors see you later guys